Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. ¿Cómo está? ¿Ya sirvió la cena? Yes. Ay, yo también, teacher. Ya a esta hora les digo, es mi hora. Así que, cabal. Se estén ahogando, se estén muriendo. Ah, después no de la estoy, hora. le dice usted, ya no estoy ahorita, le dice usted. Sí. Así nos toca. Así. ¿Cuántos hijos tiene, teacher? I have two daughters. Mm, y yes. two boys. Ah, y ok. My husband, one daughter more. Ah. One son nice. more. Así que, three boys, le digo. It's nice. Ok. Sí. Only... Ah, only three minutes. Three yes. minutes to start the class. Yes. With all our powers. Okay. <laughs> Qué calor, verdad, teacher? Yes. It's terrible. I drink much water. Ah, yes. We need a lot of water. Yes. Only three minutes. Yes. And we will start. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. How are you today? Much humed, humidity. Can you repeat, please? There is a lot of uh, humidity. Humedad. Demasiado humedad. Yes. And the heart is terrible. Right? Yes. Yes. Now, what about, let me see, Alicia Beatriz. Who is Alicia Beatriz? How are you, Alicia Beatriz? Fine, thanks. How was your day? Interesting. Interesting. What did you do or what activities did you do during the day? Um, I go to work. And I come back home. Yeah. 
Okay. Excellent. What about Marisol? How are you, Marisol? I'm good. How was your day? Uh, it was a little stressed because I, I was studying whole day because uh, tomorrow I have an exam. Oh, you will have an exam? Yes. And then you study hard. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good luck for tomorrow. Thanks. Hello, good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. What about Daisy Magdalena? How are you, Daisy? Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Uh, my day was very tired. It was very tired. Why? Because... I have a lot college homework. Okay, did you study at the university or do you study at the university? Yes. Oh. I, yes, I study in um, uh, Salvador University. Okay. It's nice. And what is your, your subject? Um, international relationships. Excellent. Congratulations. It's a nice career. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. What about Cecilia? Ana Cecilia, how was your day, Cecilia? Ana Cecilia? I saw Ana Cecilia Rodriguez. Hi, teacher. Hi. How are you? Hi, hi. How was your day? My day, uh, I was very busy. It was very busy. It was very busy. Oh. Because I working in Sonsonate. Okay, I was working in Sonsonate. Yes. What did you do there? ¿Qué hizo ahí? What did you do there? Ah, okay. Um, I uh, I am auditor the taxes. Oh. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. It's it's yes. a nice it's a nice a nice activity, right? Yes. It's a it's nice job. Interesting. It's very interesting. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Thanks for your participation. Yes, Let me see, it. Cecilia Romero. How was your day, Cecilia Romero? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? I had a tired day. A tired day. Why? Yes. Uh, working, uh, field work, field work, trabajo de campo. Ah, field work. Sí. Okay. In what? What did you do there? ¿Qué trabajo? ¿Qué hizo ahí? What did you do there? Auditor. Auditor. Ah, ok. Taxi igual que la compañía. Ah, the same. And yes. you are Cecilia Romero and she is Cecilia Rodríguez. Yes. And both has the same job. Yes. Interesting. I discovered yes. this information. <laughs> okay. <laughs> nice. Excellent. How are you, Elizabeth? How was your day? Good evening. Good teacher. evening. How was your day? Oh, my day is very hard. Very hard. Um, yes. And um, traffic was terrible. Yes, yeah. it's true. Very heavy. Sí. Um, I on time on class. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's the most important. You are on time in class. Excellent. But you look like beautiful today. Oh, thank you, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. What about, let me see, Carlos Fernando. How was your day, Carlos? 
Hello, teacher. Hello, good yeah, evening. My day is a bit relaxing. It's relaxed. Yeah. Oh, it was your free time? Is yeah. it was? <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh, excellent. What about Oscar? How was your day, Oscar? Hi, teacher. Hi, everyone. Hi. How well, are you? My day is very fun and very busy. Very busy. 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 Oh, you was very busy. Yeah. Oh, you were very busy. Yeah, you were very I was busy. Very busy. Okay, excellent. What about Saul? How was your day, Saul? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. My day was great. But was great. Like, yeah, I would like to say something because I had some trouble in the platform. Oh. Uh, I would like to share my screen, but I'm not able to do that right now. Okay. Okay, excellent. Thanks for the information. Now. And after the class, I'm going to send a mag a photo. A Screenshot? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay, excellent. There is no problem. What about Byron? How was your day, Byron? Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. My day was good. What did you do during the day? What did you do? Only... The day? Only clean my house. Clean your house. Uh, do yes. did the dishes? No. Only no, that. lavar trastos. No. Did the dishes? Only no. That. No. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> did you watch TV? No. Only no. playing my phone. Oh. Okay. Interesting. Now. Yes. <laughs> Okay, now can you please tell me what yesterday's class was about? What yesterday's class was about? The very irregular um verb regulars. The regular the difference. And, yes, the difference between regular verbs and irregular verbs. What what is the difference? Between regular and um, irregular the, verbs. The Finnish ID, um, the past in the ENG. Um, yes. Yeah, remember um, that. Yeah. The, the pronouns, different, the pronouns, and the and, um, participles, and the past. I, I, I. The infinitive, the simple infinitive, past, um, and past participle. Past, uh, participle. Yes. Yes. What happened with irregular with regular verbs? How many forms is the pronunciation? We have three forms to three, pronounce. Three forms, teacher. Three forms. Three. Three forms. Which one? And D. Which are? A D, with D. Sound, T, D. Tell me one example with D. With D, cleaned. Cleaned. Clean is in, in present and cleaned is in past. Cleaned. Yes, clean. Exactly. Can you tell me another example with D? With Live. the pronunciation in D? Lived. Live and lived. Lived. Nice. Another, another example with D. Open. Can you repeat, please? Open. Open. Yes. N is opened. Opened with D. Nice. Now with the N. 
is letter, letter, la letra T in Spanish, right? Can you tell me one example? What? What, teacher? I watched television yesterday. By watch is is what? is watch is in present. And what is it in past? The pronunciation. Watch. Watch with T. Como que usted pulsa el aire con la T. Dice T. Ya. Como que tira tira aire. Okay. Watch. Ya. Watch. If I say I watch TV, is in present. But if I say I watch TV is in past. Yes? Okay. Look at the difference. Watch, I watch TV. And I watched TV. Yeah? It's different the sound. Yeah. Now, can you tell me another with, with letter T? Danced. Can you repeat? Danced. Dance. Danced. Dance, but it's dance. dancing. No, dance. The the the. No, no. The at the end is different. On T. With ah, T. Okay. With T. T. Okay. Teacher, brush, brush, brushed, brushed. Yeah, brush and brushed. Yes. Eh, les recomiendo algo. La información extra sí que les envíe, por ejemplo, esta lista de verbos, es bueno que la impriman. Y en su trabajo, cuando vayan en el bus, usted la puede sacar y es una forma muy bonita e interesante de ir aprendiéndose los verbos. Por ejemplo, trate de aprenderse cinco diarios. Cómo se dice en presente, cómo se dice en pasado y cómo se dice en participio. Y así va a ganar más vocabulario. Pero impriman también el material extra que les envío, porque al final del curso ustedes saben que el grupo lo, lo eliminan. Entonces, ahí se queda el material extra. Yo les recomendaría que cada vez que les envíe un material extra, lo saquen y lo guarden en su compu, en una memoria, porque les va a servir. Para okay. que no les quede ahí, igual que lo, lo de los verbos, es algo que lo van a estar necesitando siempre. ¿Ya? Es una buena idea. Now, Thank you, teacher. Okay, teacher. you're welcome. Can you tell me uh, one example using the N E D? E D. Chat, charid. Chat, charid. Yes. Is in the column of E D. Yes. In your list. Uh, I don't know. Is uh, uh, I memorize. <laughs> Mm, but chat, let me see. Chat, another, let me see the, 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 the list. Another? One, 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 two. One, one, two. This is one. One, one, two. Here we have. Accept, no? Accepted. Yes. With ED. Accept, accepted. Another date dated. Yes, here in your list we have the columns. Point two. Pointed. Let me see. Pointed. Simple pass. Pointed. Yeah. Yeah. Now continue with the next class. Let me see. In this class, you, we, we will work with past participle. And then it's important to check the, the list. Now, let me see. I can continue with this information, with this topic. Yesterday, I did these exercises using Past continuous and simple past. Did you remember this exercise? Yes. 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 Okay. yes. Now, to continue with this topic, 
Let me see. No, this is the end of the topic. Yes. We are complete the exercise. And then now, here we have an important topic, very important topic. Is past perfect. Past perfect. When I use past perfect, here we have a past event and past perfect event. Past, only past, simple past. We use verb in past, as, as the, the word said. But in past perfect, is a little different. Now, we use the past perfect to refer to an action or event that started in the past and that precedes another action also in the past. We have two actions, both are in the past, both. But the first refers to an action or event that started in the past. And another, another is that precedes another action also in the past. In the same past perfect, we have two, we have two events. Like this example. Now, the action that is the is two. The action that happened first is in the past perfect. The action that happened first is in the past perfect. And the one that follows is the simple the simple past. Then usamos el pasado perfecto para referirnos a una acción o evento que inició en el pasado y también que continuó siempre en el pasado. Es como, como dos oraciones, que ambas terminaron en el pasado, pero una empezó y la otra continuó en el pasado, ¿ya? Pero no en el presente, sino siempre en el pasado. La acción que, dice que la acción que sucede primero, siempre la vamos a escribir con el past perfect, el pasado perfecto. Y la acción que le sigue va a ir en pasado simple, in simple past. The action that happened first is in the past perfect. And the one that follows in the simple past. I have Now, a question. I yes. have a question, teacher. Yes, tell me. Uh, uh, when I use the verb in past perfect, is the verb is in past, simple past, the verb. When you use past perfect. Yes. No, in your list, you have, in your, li your list about verbs, you have infinitive, simple past, and past participle. Mm, okay. Yes, and then the past perfect, we use the past participle. Okay, the first verb is past participle. Yes, it's past and participle. The, sec the second verb is in past simple. It's in simple past, yes. Okay, okay, yes. thanks, teacher. Now, okay, you're welcome. Here we have, read this information. The past participle is made from the verb had and the past participle of a verb. El pasado participio, que es el mismo past perfect, Dice que esta, esta se hace a través del verbo had. What is the meaning of had? Impress. Tener. Tener. Impressen is this. Is have. Impressen. 
En paz is hard. Hard. But in this kind of structure, we need only had. We use had, no have. Right? Had. The past participle is made from the verb had and the past participle of a verb. El pasado participio de un verbo. ¿Ya? Yeah? Had plus past participle of a verb. Now, after this information, I need to show you some examples. Let me see. You could have an exercise, but I need to use this one, explain you this one. We use, this is the, the information that I told you before. We use the past perfect to refer to an action or event that started in the past and that precedes another action also in the past. The action that happened first is in the past perfect and the one that follows in the simple past. Now, here I have an important information to you. Important. Don't confuse with contraction apostrophe D with had and with good. With had, the verbs that follow is in the past participle. This is a secret. This is a secret. When it's had, always the verb that follows is in the past participle. And we use good with good, the verb that follows is in the infinitive. The infinitive is the same present, simple present, right? El infinitivo es el, el, el presente simple. And then, had and good have the same, the same construction. ¿Cuál va a ser la clave en esto? Can you tell me? ¿Cuál va a ser la clave? Como, como es igual, miren, vamos a poner igual, vamos a, 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 a contractarlo de la misma manera. La clave va a ser que si el verbo que le sigue es el pasado participio, entonces estamos hablando de had. Y si en la, en la otra eh, vemos que el, el verbo que sigue es en infinitivo o en, en pasado, en presente simple, es el good del que estamos hablando. Good. ¿Ya? Yeah? This is an auxiliary good. Do you have any questions for this part? O continue with some exercises. Yeah, we can continue. Ok. The past participles is made from the verb had and the past participle of a verb. Examples. Okay. Here we have the first example. He He had played video games. Recuerden que los verbos, algunos no cambian. Algunos verbos no cambian en pasado y en simple past. En el, en el, en el participio no cambian, pero algunos sí. Entonces, ahí es de aprenderse el verbo cuando es en participio pasado y cuando es en, en pasado normal, en simple past. Now. Let me see. Okay. Now, number two. She had cut the three, cut the three last. Week. 
This is another one. She had a cut. Este verbo, cut, dijimos que es de las excepciones. Es un verbo que no cambia. Es igual, tanto en presente como en pasado y el past participle. It's the same. Cut is not change. Now, in the first example, is had played. Let me see here. Here I had. I had played video games. Had played. This is the first. Second, three. Mary had found a new job. Had found a new job. Yes, here we have had and the verb in, in what? In past participle. In past participle. He played, he had played video games. Video games. What is the meaning of this, this sentence? In number one, he had played video games. Él había jugado video games. Y es, él ha jugado. Él ha jugado. Él ha jugado video games. Videojuegos. Videojuegos. Yes. Videojuegos. Now, in number two, she had cut the tree last week. Ella ha cortado el árbol la semana pasada. El árbol la semana pasada. Ha cortado. Ya, yeah, ha. Ha, this means ha. In some cases, había. Right? Había cortado. Había. Yes, o había jugado. Ha o había. It depends. Y number three. Mary had found a new job. Had found. What is the meaning of this verb? Found. Encontrado. 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 What is the meaning of the sentence? Eh, ella Mary, ha encontrado, encontrado un nuevo trabajo. trabajo. Mary had found, ha encontrado, ha encontrado un, un nuevo, nuevo trabajo. trabajo. Yeah. What happened if I say Mary found a new job? Is okay or no? This sentence. Mary found a new job. Is okay or no? This is the present. Yes. yes in, it's the past. in the past. It's, it's not, it's not in, in present. It's in past. Mary encontró un nuevo in, trabajo. Yes. It's in past. Phone. But what, what, what happened? Is, is okay or no? Yes. Yes, it's okay. Yes, it's okay. Yes, it's yes. okay. Yes, yes, in this case, yes. in this case, I use the simple, the simple past. Mary encontró un nuevo trabajo. Yeah, it's okay. The simple past. Now, but here, Mary had found, ha encontrado un nuevo trabajo. Yes, because is to refer to a nation that started in the past and that preceded in the present, yeah? Ha encontrado un nuevo trabajo. Y si dice encontró, es porque lo encontró en el pasado y ya no, ya no sigue. Mary phone a new job. Yeah? It's okay. Another example. Number four. They had... Both new clothes had bought. What is the meaning of bought? Ha comprado. Compraron. Compraron. Han, ¿Han, comprado? Comprado. Han comprado. Han comprado. Han comprado. Han comprado. Yes, they had bought. 
is both in simple present, is in simple past, or in past participle. Is in past participle. Past participle. Why? Because, because before is had, had, had bought, ha comprado. Okay, new clothes. Yeah, ha comprado new clothes. Now, can you tell me one example? Another example, please. Volunteer. Another example. Like this one, with this important, important information. When I use good, it's like another example. Good. I would like. Ah, but it's in, in here, only an example. I like to go with you to the cinema. Here we have, I would like, es este que les mostré, miren, aquí el good lo estamos utilizando como Como un auxiliar, I'd like to go with you to the cinema. The fallus verb is in infinitive or in simple present. Miren que es like. Me gustaría ir contigo al cine. ¿Ya? Yeah? It's an example about this one. Now, can you tell me another example using past perfect? Please, Maybe, yeah. tell I? me. Could okay. I? I mm -hmm. had worked in the school. I had worked in the school. In the school. Or yeah. in a school. Yes. Yeah, in a school. Okay. In a school. Okay. okay. I had worked in a school. Excellent. What is the meaning of this one? Had worked. He trabajado en la escuela. He trabajado en una escuela. He trabajado en una escuela. I have worked. Excellent. Another? Can you tell me another? I play, I had played soccer today. I had played soccer today. In the morning, digamos, because it's past. It's a past. Ah, okay. Yes, it's okay. In the morning. In the morning, okay. I had, I played, I had played soccer in the morning. Play. Yo he in the morning. Jugado. O yo... Jugado fútbol en la mañana. Yeah. What happened if I if I say I played soccer in the morning? Is okay or no? It's, yes, okay. it's okay. It's okay, yes, but it's okay. we use only simple past. Excellent. Do you have any questions for this information? Or oh, everything is clear? Then we have with an, an exercise to put in practice this information. Now here. ¿Lo ven bien así o se los pongo más grande? Más grande. Ok. Let me see. Ok, vamos a ver. ¿Es ok? Sí. Yes. Yes, yes teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. Teacher. Now, here we have another important information that is grammar note. After, in sentences using after that show one past event 
occurring before another, the clause with after usually uses the past perfect. An example, after she had called her, after she had called her friend, her cell phone battery died. After she had called her friend, her cell phone battery died. Now, again, in sentences using after that show one past event occurring before another, dice que en la oración se, después de, de, de after, si muestra un, un evento que ocurrió antes de otro, la oración, closest means oración, la oración con after, usualmente usamos el pasado perfecto. And then, here the example, after. And the past perfect is had called, right? Had called. Ella, después dice ella, ¿qué? ¿Ha llamado a su amigo o a su amiga? ¿O después que ella llamó a su amigo o ha llamado? Su teléfono, la batería de su teléfono murió. La batería se murió. Yeah. Now, here pay attention to this exercise and try to do it. Bob and I had just gotten engaged. So we went to a yearly store to buy a wedding ring. This is a story. And then, it is important to choose the correct verbs to complete the story. This is the, the instruction. Choose the correct verbs to complete the story. Here, you can choose. Your shoes and how you chosen. Where is the better verb to put here? First, read the complete sentence. We are in when a mask men. Here, are, here we have a period, right? Lean esta oración primero y ahí van a decidir cuál corresponde. Si es el just shows, just shoes o el had just chosen. ¿Ya? Yeah? First, read this one. This one and this one. Read the first and the second line. Please. Maybe and after decide the correct the correct verb. For me, teacher, had you choose chosen? Use. Let me see. Had just chosen. Why? Because uh, and that uh, and translate is. Nosotros estábamos escogiendo un anillo. Tiene más sentido que decir bueno. nosotros escogí un anillo, nosotros escogimos un anillo. Yes, and the best sensor is that we have another action than, that interrupt the, the first one. Like this, we had just chosen a ring when a mask men. Yes, aquí está una, una oración y la otra, miren, when... El Gwen es la que interrumpió la primera acción. ¿Yes? Yeah. ¿Recuerdan yeah. que vimos eso cuando lo interrumpe? ¿Ya? Yeah? And then is, had just chosen. Is correct. Had just chosen. Let me put in the, in our first. Had just Chosen. Let me see what this is. It has just chosen. Now, continue to reading. Let me see. 
Ok, he continues reading. When a mask man, what? Came in. Came in. Came in or had come in? Came in. Came in. Excellent. Came in. Yes. Came in. This is the correct. Now, after the rover, what is the meaning of rover? Ladron. Ladron. Yes. Ladron. Yes, it's a thief. After the rover took or had taken. Read the complete had sentence. Taken. Had taken. Had taken. Had taken. Had taken. That's right. Had taken. After the rover had taken, Bob's what? Let me see. Okay. Bob's wallet, he what? Demand. Demanded. Bob's wallet is demanded or had demanded? Demanded. Why? Had demanded. Okay. Why demanded or why had demanded? Tell me the reason. After the rover had taken Bob's, the answer is because we have in the second action the verb is in simple past. Look this one. After the rover had taken, aquí llevamos el had taken, el past participle, right? Y decía la regla que después la otra acción que interrumpe con el, cuando va con el past perfect, el siguiente verbo va en, en, en simple, en simple past. Yes, and then, yes, and then he demanded, it's okay. El que me dijeron primero es demanded. Pero ya me comprendieron la razón por qué, ¿verdad? Yes. Yeah, teacher. Yeah, teacher. Okay. okay. Now, the ring I just handed or had just handed. I I it just handed. I just handed. I just handed the first one. I just handed. I just handed. Had had just handed is the second. Had just handed. Why? Here we have a period. Después de ring tenemos un punto. Entonces esta es otra oración, ¿verdad? Y aquí hay la siguiente oración. Interrumpe, miren la primera. And then is, is I had just... We are going to use the past perfect. And the yes. second one, we are going to use the simple past. Simple past. It's okay. I use handed. I just handed it to him when the alarm what? Started. Started. Yes. Started. Cuando when alarm started. Started to go off. And the rover ran off or ran or had run off. Run, run, run off. Run off. Why? Why run off? Why had? Can you tell me the reason? Why you tell me had? Had run off. Es otra oración separada por una coma. Yes, it's another, but, but. Is continue, is continue, and is the end of the of the clause. 
Aquí es el final de la oración. Entonces no tenemos otra, otra acción que esté interrumpiendo esta que estamos actualmente. Entonces aquí tendría que ser el verbo como. In past. In simple past. Simple past. Yes. And the rubber ran off. Because here we have a period, right? Aquí tenemos el punto donde terminó esta oración. And then is the rubber ran off. Run off. Now, number number eight. Run off. We were so re reliable or so reliable, but then the sales assistant told or had told. Pay attention first with the statement. And after you decide which verb is better. We were so relieved, but then the sales told. assistant told. 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 told us. Ah, okay. They say, we were so reliable, but this is the action, another action that interrupts the first one. And then it's tall. Tall. Okay. Told us we had, the pay, we had to pay for the ring because I... I have given. I have given. I had given, given it to the rover. Yes. Yes? Yes. I had given, yes. and then, who I gave. Let me see, eat the rover. But then the search assistant told us we had to pay for the ring because this is continuous. Continuous this one. Mm, had to pay for the ring because. Gave. Is gave right? Because this is the is the the end of the the close. Or the okay. statement, es el final de la oración, and then because, mm -hmm. porque, ya, yeah, es la continuación de esto. And then mm -hmm. here is gave. Okay. Yeah. Gave. And gave. Number 10. Yeah, gave it to the rover. We, you stole or had you stole. Have just told. Have just, just told. Have just told her. Yes. Had just told. Had just told her that we wouldn't pay for it when the police. The police arrived. Arrived. When the police arrived. Yes, when the police arrived. Arrived. And? Arrested or had arrested? Had arrested. 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 And arrested? Yes. And arrested. Arrested us. What what a terrible experience. What a terrible experience. Yeah. Do you have any questions for this exercise? Oh, can I continue? Teacher, uh, Tell me. excuse me, number seven, uh, por favor, que no lo visualizo en la pantalla. Ah, okay. Pues el número siete. Number seven, let me see. Seven is run off. Run, run off. off. Okay. Thank you. Off. Okay, you're welcome. 
rang off. Now, do you have any questions for this exercise? No, for the moment. Che, teacher, I have a question. Yes, el, tell me. El, el past participle, el past perfect, el, I, I, I always use only when interruption the second sentences. Yes, you can use, look this one. Let me see. Okay, here we have this information. Let me see. This one, we use, here, we use the past perfect to refer to an action or an event. Esto lo vamos a usar, esto se refiere a una acción o evento que inició en el pasado y que, con, y que continuó con otra acción siempre en el pasado. Ah, okay. Cuando, cuando otra, otra, más bien cuando otra acción interrumpió la actual, pero siempre en el pasado. Mm -hmm. el, okay. el, el que vimos anteriormente, que era el, el, el tema anterior, que era el, 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 el simple past también, ¿verdad? Y con el gerundio. Es de la misma estructura, solo que es en pasado. Entonces, ah, okay. si aquí vemos que hay una acción que hoy interrumpió la otra siempre en el pasado, entonces vamos a utilizar el past perfect. Pero okay. lo vamos a utilizar para, como vamos a tener dos acciones, la acción que, que llegó primero. Por ejemplo, si yo le digo, le digo, eh, no pude pagar la cuenta en el restaurante porque un ladrón había robado mi cartera. ¿Cuál de las dos fue primero? ¿Cuál de las dos acciones? No pude pagar la cuenta en el restaurante porque un ladrón me robó la cartera. ¿Cuál de las dos acciones fue la primera de esas dos? No pude pagar. No me robó la cartera. Ah, Ajá, primero, este no va, va a ser la que el ladrón le robó la cartera, porque a consecuencia de que el ladrón le robó la cartera, usted no pudo pagar la cuenta, ¿ya? Entonces, la, la primera acción que llegó fue que el ladrón le robó la cartera. Significa que en esa acción que fue la que inició, en esa es que usted va a utilizar el, el past perfect. Past perfect. Okay. Y en la otra que no, no pudo pagar la cuenta, va a utilizar el, el, el pasado normal, okay. el, el, el pasado simple, right? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Thanks, for okay, you're welcome. You. Okay, you're welcome. Another question? No. Here we have these exercises or this, this explanation. Past event, I was working out. I was working out when I came back. They were able to steal it. This is a, a, a story, but here, past event, only past event. I was working. When you use was or were, the verb is always with ing. I was working. I was playing. Yes, I was uh, buying. Siempre cuando utilizamos el, el pasado, un evento pasado, si utilizamos el was y el where, ¿verdad que el was y el where, do you remember that is a, a, the past of verb to be? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, verdad. Entonces aquí utilizamos el was o el were y el verbo va a ir siempre con el ing cuando es un evento pasado. I was working. Dice, I was working out. Estaba trabajando fuera. When I came back. When I came back. 
Aquí interrumpió la acción el when, right? Dice, estuve trabajando afuera cuando I came back. Cuando regresé, I came back. Aquí, como es la segunda acción, estamos utilizando solamente el verbo en pasado. I came back. They were able to steal it. Ellos fueron capaces de robarlo. Were able. El was el were you use for this kind of, of verb, the past perfect end. Yeah? They were able to steal it. O puede ser también aquí, mire, como esta era una acción en el momento, que dice que mientras él estaba trabajando, dice, I was working, yo estaba trabajando, is the action, right? Está hablando de una acción. Estaba trabajando, ¿ya? Cuando la, la acción termina en ando, yendo, endo, es con ing. ING, porque es una acción continua, la que está en el momento. Dice, mientras estaba trabajando fuera, o yo estuve trabajando fuera, cuando regresé o cuando volví. Cuando volví, when I came back, cuando volví, eso ya quedó en el pasado. Cuando volví, they were able to steal it. Ellos habían sido capaces de robarlo. ¿Ya? O ellos fueron capaces de robarlo. Now, past perfect event. And I had put my stuff in my locker. I had put. Here we have past perfect. I had put my stuff in my locker. Another, someone had stolen my wallet. Alguien ha robado mi billetera. Had stolen. Because in this occasion, we talk about past perfect. In number three. Because I had forgotten to look the locker. Because I had forgotten to look the locker. Olvidó cerrar el locker. Yeah? I had forgotten. Because I had. He olvidado, ¿verdad? Porque he olvidado cerrar el locker. Yes, past perfect. Use always had and verb. Had and verb. The same here. Had and verb, but the verb is in past participle. Put is another exception. Este verbo put es igual que el, el cut, que se escribe cut, ¿verdad? Que es cortar. Esto put significa poner. Esta es otra de las excepciones que no cambia. Es igual en presente, en pasado y en el past participle. This verb no change. ¿Ya? Aquí dice ha robado. Ha robado. ¿Ya? It's different. For, for example, this verb in present is still. In past. In simple past is stalled. And in past participle is stolen. Right? Change. Has different forms to write. Yeah? Yeah. Now, teacher. okay, now yes. pay, pay attention to this part, right? I was working because the action is in the, in the moment. Aquí porque él dice. Um, Estuve trabajando fuera, como dice trabajando y las terminaciones ando yendo. O yendo es con, con ING porque es un action in the moment. Entonces dice I was working out. And, y aquí dice they were able, ellos fueron capaces de robarlo. Yes, were able. ¿Ya? Porque aquí ya no es una acción en el momento, mientras que la primera sí. Yes. 
Do you have any question? And tomorrow we, we will continue with this topic. And we will do more exercises about this topic. But it's very the past important. Perfect. Yes, the past perfect. Okay. Yes, we will continue okay. with the topic tomorrow. Perfect. Yes, and then please don't forget that tomorrow we have classes. We will have okay. classes tomorrow. Of yes. course. Yeah, yes. Yes. Okay, and then see you tomorrow. Thanks you for tomorrow. coming and thanks for your responsibility. Have Thank you. Have a good night. Have a good night. Have a good night. Bye. 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 B